Okay, okay, so we got the Femi Mini X8, and we're going to do a long distance waypoint mission. And I have several of them pre made, but you can't see them until you get actually flying. I've done a couple of tests, and we've had some interesting issues. Okay, so let's get this thing up so I can look at that. And we're going to go to high. I'm going to show you why that may or may not make any difference a little later. Okay, we're still going there. Okay, so we're waiting for satellites, and I'll show you we have the latest firmware here, the latest firmware, and our app version is 1.0.8, the new one that did a bunch of stuff, but nobody knows what it did. So, there we go, 10 point, or 1080p, 30 frames per second, we're waiting on that last satellite, usually at 13, it goes from orange to white. So we've got 84%. Should have enough to do it. I'll just do the same one and come back. So I've had it on a trickle charger. I plugged it into the wrong charger. It was in there for two and a half hours and still was only 84%. So that's, that's a biggie for this thing. It just doesn't charge up fast at all, no matter what you do. Hour and a half, two hours. So... I'm going to limit it to about a three kilometer run. What we're going to do is, in the waypoint, it maps out a one kilometer circle around you. So if I fly beyond that, what happens? But I'm going to do one that um, goes outside that one kilometer range. And no matter what you do, what height you set it in an offline setting, it comes back to 44 meters high. So what I'm going to do, and I'll show you that in another one. We take this up here and get it up and going. Okay. Stop about there. We're good. So if I I have to go into this map here and go to satellite or I won't get satellite. Okay. Now I set these all at 50 meters and 80 meters. All my history. You see there at number five it says medium's the highest quality. Well, if I look at this one, this one was set at 80 meters high. And look what it says, 44 meters, each one. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna make one. So I'm gonna go there. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. Do it on the map, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go one, and we're gonna go up to 70 meters, okay, everything's normal, add, where is it, still there, okay, so we're going to go out to here, hmm, out to there, Add. Target distance is limited to a thousand. Ah. Well, that's kind of strange. So let's stop that. And let's go to history. Because my waypoint history, if I pick this one, look at my I'm outside the target. So let's see what happens. So if you're making it while in flight, it won't go out the target. So we're gonna go this route. We're gonna go to eight meters per second, go to 10, and we have it at, let's go to route, see if that makes a difference. And continue, hover at the end. And let's just go. Well, let's get it up first. Down a bit. There we go. Okay. Let's just go. Should be going up to 44 meters. So let's have a look at this to see if it goes up to 44 meters.
Okay, see if it's it's pointing on the root now. Okay, so it should turn around. Let's hit that. It should turn around, but it's not. It's going backwards. Let's start that video before we forget. Okay, we started the video. Remember I set it on high? Okay. It's going backwards at 9.910, okay? So let's see how far it goes before we lose connection. And we're going to lose connection pretty soon. There it goes. And it's up at 49, 44 meters, 43.9. So if you make a waypoint mission on the fly, you can't go the more than one kilometer out. Okay. So it's going to be interesting to see if this, see we lost it. So now all we can do is wait. And I'm sure there's enough battery. I did this this morning and it was about, it took 20% of the battery. So I should be back with about 40%, I'm hoping. Because it was about 80 minus 60, 50, 50 or 40%. Okay, but I know it will complete this mission. There's very little wind. I'm at 44 meters high. The only way I can get higher is if I make a mission on the fly. And if I don't, if I do make it on the fly, I can only go one kilometer out. If I do it offline, I can do it more than one kilometer out. So maybe, I don't know. So I have to wait. It's about a six minute wait, I think. And we'll see what happens. And last time, I didn't take a video, and it wouldn't reconnect. So I saw it flying above me. It wouldn't reconnect. I had no video. Uh, I could... I think I could control it. But we'll, we'll try that when it comes back, when I see it. We'll see if I press a button, if it cancels something or whatever. The only way I got it to come back to life was to unplug it and plug it back in again. So right now, I'm hoping I took a video and I did set it at high. So let's see when it comes back, if it's still set at high. Okay. And because the instructions said it would go to medium. So this time I finally took the video. It's very quiet. It's very unnerving. You're waiting. You have no idea what's going to happen. And I'm just waiting. And I know it's going to come across from the southwest. But I have no idea when or how until I see and hear it. And if I don't see and hear it, I've got nothing to compare to. And I'm going to have to look at the video to see if it bypasses those two waypoints that are outside the red circle. So, so many things are confusing about this app. Uh, down to the calculations, it's in one area it says it's a one hour video. Another area it says it's like 40 seconds. I've had one that said it was an hour video and it only took 23 seconds, which is completely wrong because it was a five minute flight. So some of the calculations in the app are not correct. Um, the way it calculates distances and times. And also, no matter what height you set your waypoints at offline, when you come to an actual flight, and pick your history, it always go to 44 meters. I've tried it at 50 meters, I've tried it at 80 meters, and when I come back and restore a history, they all say 44 meters. So again, this is the unnerving part. 
and luckily there's no wind and no matter what I do with the uh, whether I put free or whether I put um, route it always just stays pointing the camera points in the same direction uh, like on this one it was pointing in a, a little bit of a northeasterly direction and it stayed that way all the way through the flight so a oh, little bit of a breeze a little bit of a breeze and I'm not too worried about that because the Femi does do very well in, in breezy conditions. I've had it really breezy. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. But it's about this point in time when you start to wonder what's going to happen. Because I don't hear anything. Well, I see something moving there, but that's me. It says I'm moving. But I'm not. Hmm. And the geo codes aren't changing. GPS codes aren't changing. So Okay, let me listen really carefully now. No, I don't hear anything yet. I did it this morning about 6.30. Did the whole flight and I forgot to record the video. So I'm doing the exact same route. There it is, I hear it. Oh, here it comes. Boom. There it is. See, it's not connecting. Oh, there it is. It did connect. Back we come. There we go. And it finished. So when it f completes that, waypoint mission complete. So let's look at this and look at our thing. It's still on high. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Yeah, what we're going to do. Well, we're not going to go through all that again. So what I did was I made an online route around the subdivision. And I put it all at 80 meters and it ran perfectly. It went out of bounds for a little bit, connected again. It worked great. As you can see on here, the orange triangle is the drone going between nine and 10. It's following the route. I set it to follow route. I set it to uh, on exit to continue. It did everything flawlessly and it was quite happy with it. Um, successful flight all around. And that was made online. So the craft was in the air. I made the waypoint and I executed immediately. But when I went into it again in the history, I was still flying. I recalled the history of the flight I'd just taken. I loaded it and this is what appeared. It went back to 44 meters high. And also, I did a little experiment and I ran it for a couple of seconds and it would not follow route. It would just, the camera or the yaw would maintain wherever I started the waypoint direction. So it didn't follow the route again. So two things. If you make an offline waypoint mission, you cannot get it higher than 44 meters, but you can go beyond the one kilometer circle. If you make an online mission, you can go as high as you're able. You can follow your route, but you can't go more than one kilometer distance. So here's a small overview of what to expect when you're making waypoints. And remember, waypoints are like flying by the seat of your pants. You never know where you're going. And look at that very last one. The waypoints are not editable once plotted. 
they're not. You can't change their height. You can't change the location. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Hope we all learned something. And I'll keep you informed as to whatever's coming next. Okay? Take care. Stay safe. And enjoy the nice weather outside. See you in the next one. Before I forget, Femi, could you just shorten up the time between entering and exiting a waypoint, the transition? Right now it's about two or three seconds. It's just not smooth. If you could do that, that would be great. Just thought I'd throw that in there. Thanks.